In this video, I'm going to show you how to build React applications using AI for free. So we are going to be using ChatGPT and Lovable to build sleek React applications. I'm going to show you my approach. So recently, I've been working on full stack projects that involves Django and React. So I'm going to show you my approach in building my front end. So without further ado, let's get started. So over to my browser. First of all, we are going to use. First of all, we are going to open ChatGPT. I'm going to show you my approach. So right now, let's assume we want to build an e-commerce app for a friend. So I've got my prompt here. I'm going to paste the prompt here. So it says here, say hi. I want to build an. I want to build a mini e-commerce web app for a friend who sells groceries using React and Tailwind. Now I said, now I want you to help me with a comprehensive prompt for Lovable.dev. So Lovable is an AI tool that helps that helps write code, right? So right now our goal is to build right now our goal is to build an e-commerce web app for a friend that sells groceries we want to create a slick front end we want to create a stunning front end so that's where lovable comes in so right now i'm asking ChatGPT to help me with a comprehensive prompt for lovable so i'm going to send this request so now we're going to get our response so let's wait for ChatGPT to give us a response we want i've got some right now you can see ChatGPT has given me the perfect prompt to give to Lovable so, so I can get the best from Lovable, right? So right now, we've got our prompt now. So right now, we have a comprehensive prompt for Lovable now. So we are going to just, you can see, you can read through it if you want to. So this is how I do my, this is how this, this I generate my front end. I'm going to ask ChatGPT, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me a comprehensive prompt. So I've gotten my prompt now. So right now I'm going to copy this, copy, copy this, copy it now. So I'm going to right now I'm going to go over to Lovable. I'm going to say Lovable.dev. It enters. So I've been generating my UIs with Lovable, and it has been excellent, right? So now we are on Lovable now. So as for you, you can create an account if you don't, if you don't have an account. Create an account is super easy to do. So right now I'll paste in my prompts here, paste in the prompts. Right, here's the prompt now, and then we'll click on. So this, these are the UIs I've been generating. I've been, I've been using Lovable for a while now, and they've given me some beautiful UIs, some be some beautiful front ends with React. I don't have to bother again about my front end thanks to Lovable. So I'm going to send this request. So it's going to. So we have to wait for some for a few seconds or a few moments, and then we're going to have a slick front end generated for us so let's wait for it so once it is done it's going to give you a preview of your application with the codes with the entire codes that was used to build the application so this is how i build my front end this is how i build my react application these days i don't have to struggle about configuring anything again with lovable I can come on board here and then generate my uis and then focus on the back end so with this approach it become super fast so let's wait for it to get, let's wait for it so you can see the beautiful response it's going to give us. Let's wait for it. So I think it's done. So we're going to see our preview soon. So the preview is, right now the preview is coming up. So you can see now, we've got this beta for us with React. You understand? So thanks to Lovable, we've got the, we've got the, the evil session. We have one now about the evil session. We have the different options here. It's, it, it, it even gave us a name called Fresh Grosser, right? We have, we have the different categories. You can click it. It's it's great, right? You can click it. You can see the product there. I have a search field. It has the different, the different, what was it called? Different categories. It's great, right? And it's fully functional. Let's see the cart page. Here's where carts start shopping. So if you have to add items to your cart, add items to carts, add to carts, go back, go back to the carts, because we have our cart page. You understand? So this is beautiful, right? Crazy, so beautiful. So right now, how do we get the code? So now to get the code, it's here. Sorry. So so to view the code now, to view to view, to view the entire code that made up the system, to view the code, just click on the just click over here. This arrow on top called Code Viewer. Click on it. You can see we have the entire React project here now. We have the entire React project to get. So if you check, click on the source folder, you can see the different component that was used to build the application, the different components. 
So everything you need is here. Everything you need, as far as you know, some React JS. Now you've got your front end set up. You can also tell Lovable that, okay, I don't like the way it looks like, improve it. And it's going to definitely make this application better than it is. You understand? It's going to make it so right now. Let's, let's view this. Let's view this on the, on, let's view this application on the browser. Click on this. Click on this arrow icon. Click on it. Let's see it on the browser. So you can see we have our e-commerce application for groceries instead. That's what we, that's what we said. We, we said for groceries. And it gave us an e-commerce app for groceries. Fully responsive. Slick, click on the products. You can see, you can right now you can see we have a slick detail page. Right? So we can go back to products. This time, so we have our search bar. We have the search. Here it is. So I don't know. This is so. This is so good. Built with Lovable, and you have access to the source code. So let's see all products. Click on it. You can see it gives us all products. So you can check out the code on Lovable. So click on this on this arrow icon, on this code icon. You're going to view your code you get. So what you have to do is simple. Just go down to your go down to your computer. Create a React project from scratch. And I recommend you use Tailwind version 3. Don't use version 4 because Lovable doesn't support version 4 yet. It uses version 3. This is what I mean. Go back to Tailwind, Tailwind now. So whenever you create a React project and want to configure Tailwind, don't use version 4. Use version 3. So currently, this is version 4. Right? This is version 4. So to use version 3, click on this drop down and then select 3.17. 3.4.17. So use version 3. Available supports version 3 as of now. It hasn't gotten to version 4 yet. So that's how it works. So we've got our source code here. Just create your own React project now. Configure Tovin, configure Shad CN, and then you can come over here and then copy the codes you need for your project. It's as simple as that. You create your React. What you have to do first, create your React, create your React project from scratch. Configure Tovin version 3. Configure Shad CN. And you can come here, create your source folder, check out the components. This UI folder we have here is from ShadCN, so you don't have to create the UI folder. So it comes with ShadCN. So then you can open the product folder, copy out the products, the, the code, the products, the, you can check out the code here, open it, create a file called product card, then copy the code, and then paste your own React project instance. So it's not complex. As far as you know some React, you can easily make use of this applications of this front-end app beauty to react so what do we do first of all i came over to charge gpt i gave it a prompt i said i want to build a mini e-commerce web app for a friend who sells groceries using react and towing now i asked ChatGPT. i am right now i now ask ChatGPT to give me a comprehensive prompt for lovable and it gave me a comprehensive prompt that i could use to prompt lovable and lovable gave me this application in a sense so it could be anything you want to build anything as far as a web app or a, mo or a mobile app lovable is there for you to help you so this is how i build my front end now i don't have to stress about a ui i don't need the ui i don't need i don't need i don't need the ui designer again with lovable i can create my front end and then write my back end i can I even write the back end with ai these days in charge gpt it helps me, it, it helps me generate my apis just prompt it, the, prompt, it the, prompt it the right way and it's going to give you what you ask for. So that's so right now, that's it for the video. That's it right now. So if you gain some value, what do you do? Subscribe, drop me some comments and like the video. I'll be updating to hear for, I'll be waiting to hear from you. So currently, we don't have a footer. You can come back to Lovable and say, wow, there is no footer. There is Lovable. You can come back to Lovable now. Let's close, let's close this. Oh, sorry back to lovable now you can come over i need to just close this yeah you can come back here and say our oh, web can just come back here and say there is no footer on the web app and you're going to see lovable is going to generate a slick footer for the application so just keep prompting it till you get what you want exactly that's how it works so thank you for watching see you in the next video stay blessed and bye bye